Hey everyone, this is Derek with Nerd or Die, and I'm going to walk you through setting up your Extra Life Game Day fundraising campaign, and then I'm going to show you how to set up a great looking overlay using StreamPro.io for your campaign in just a couple of minutes. Let's get right into it. If you're not already familiar with Extra Life, it's a way to connect gamers around the world in a 24-hour gaming marathon, and this supports Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. They host an official 24-hour game day in the fall of each year, but gamers can actually participate whenever and wherever it works for them. If you want to learn more about how you can participate or even donate, go to extra-life.org. Now, let's get started with setting up our fundraising campaign. I'm already on the website, and I'm going to hit join here at the top. You can also click the link in the description below for this video to get directly to the registration page. Follow these steps to register, and these will allow you to set things like your fundraising goal and even choose a hospital near or in your city. It only took me about a minute to get everything set up, and once you're done, your fundraising page will automatically be live. Now, if you're not already, log into your account, and at the top, we can select profile here, and then you can actually upload a profile picture, change your contact information, but most importantly, we can edit and view our fundraising page. I'm going to click edit page and here I can see my fundraising page information. We can already see that we have a unique participant ID assigned to us, which is the number located here. We want to write this down and save it for later because we're going to use it with stream pro in just a little bit. We can also create a unique page alias, which for myself, I'm going to set it to nerd or die. And by the way, once we create an alias, the number here is actually going to switch to what we named the alias. But if we need to grab our participant ID, you can find it here at the top in the URL at the end. You can see here that it says equals and then a number. That's actually your participant ID. So anyways, make any other changes that you need for the page and then hit save changes at the bottom. Let's go ahead and head over to streampro.io now that our campaign is actually set up. What we're going to do now is set up an overlay to use inside of OBS or XSplit, and then we're going to make sure it integrates with our Extra Life campaign. So once you're logged into StreamPro, hover over your profile name at the top right and select Integrations. Go to the Extra Life section and click Connect Extra Life. Here, you can enter in your page ID number that was automatically set for you when you created your Extra Life campaign. So I'm going to enter 184450, which is my ID number, and then I'm going to click Save. Again, if you can't find this number or you don't know where it is, just go back into your Extra Life campaign profile and then find it here when you hit edit page or view page at the top in your URL. Now that our account is connected to StreamPro, let's click overlays at the top and then create a new overlay. I'll name mine Extra Life and then select 1920 by 1080 for the resolution. Now just select themes at the top left and find the Extra Life event theme and then click apply. After a few seconds, your stream overlay will be created and since we already connected StreamPro, to our Extra Life fundraising campaign, our campaign goals and then alerts for when our viewers donate to our campaigns will be good to go. I do want to mention that if you do use StreamPro already, you can set up Extra Life widgets yourself into your current overlay very easily. Similarly, you can also edit the current theme to match your stream's needs. Also, you can test each widget by simply clicking on them and then hitting Test Widget in the Editor Options panel. Make any changes you need to this theme and then hit save changes and exit. Now that the overlay is ready to use, let's grab the overlay URL, which we'll be able to put into XSplit or OBS. If you're not already in the overlay page editor for StreamPro, click edit on your Extra Life overlay. Let's go ahead and copy the overlay URL found here in the panel options. For XSplit, let's go ahead and add a web page URL source. Then what we need to do is paste in this URL to XSplit. Now, once we added this URL in, let's go back into the settings of this source and adjust it to the proper width and height. And in my case, it's going to be 1920 by 1080. And with that, everything should be set up and good to go. Adding the Stream Pro overlay into OBS is easy as well, but if you are using OBS, you need to make sure you have the CLR browser plugin installed for it. If you do, then what you need to do is copy the overlay URL from your StreamPro options panel and then add a CLR browser source into OBS. For me, I'm doing it in a completely new scene. 
Now just paste the overlay URL into the URL field and then change the dimensions to match your overlay size. And in my case, it's 1920 by 1080. And then after you do that, everything should be working fine and you're ready to go. What you need to do now is actually put in stuff like your webcam and then your gaming feed behind this source so that it shows up properly. And then you can, of course, resize it as well. As always, if you have any questions about setting up your Extra Life campaign or using StreamPro.io, please leave them in the comments below. I hope everyone has a great time and they have great success with their Extra Life game day event this November 7th, 2015. And thanks for watching.